Hello everyone, I'm Hooligan Husky, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Last time, we got the Master Sword. And really, that's the most important thing. We now have to find the Mirror of Twilight and stop Zant, because he's all evil. But first, look over there. I am wrong but button, um... I am south of Castletown. If you just go to Castletown and take the south exit, you'll come right on to this golden wolf. Our golden wolf friend on the right. Because we howled out a howling stone and now it's time to learn a new technique. We meet again. This next is the greatest of the hidden skills I have taught you to this point, and it may test the limits of your endurance. Do you still wish to master it? I do. Very well. But before we begin, I must test you to ensure you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the back slice. Now then, come at me! How do I do it again? Oh yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> I mean, I totally remember I've mastered the art. Ex excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My fourth hidden skill is... The Helm Splitter. Let it be hewn into your mind. It is impossible to circle around and perform a backslice against, a fully, armored, against fully armored enemies that move swiftly in combat. Against such foes, you must first use a shield attack to make them flinch, but then quickly press A. You will leap into the air over the enemy's head and greet them with your blade by immediately striking from behind. This is the Helm Splitter. Show it to me. Okay, let's do it. Nice! Hmm, impressive. Do not miss your chance to land a Helm Splitter with A after your shield attack. The fourth and hidden skill, the Helm Splitter, has been passed on. Alright. There are still three hidden skills for you to learn. Do not neglect your daily sword training between now and the next time you come to learn the, the next skill. May we meet again. Okay, sweet! We have a new technique! Now there's actually some stuff in this area that I noticed coming uh, that that I, I wanted- or coming here that I wanted to uh, check out. Oh! There was a character here before, but they're gone now. I was gonna talk to them, I guess because the sun is setting? They've gone away. Okay. Well, actually, on my way here, I did get a letter from Telma. So let's check that out. The mailman brought us... They came so quickly. Husky, there are some folks I want you to meet, so come to my bar right away. These guys will be powerful allies for you. You heard me. Come by. I'll be waiting at my Castle Town bar. Okay, yeah, we will be wanting to pay a visit to Telma very soon, but I'll, I want to check out this Goron first. Hey, you are that human, yes? The other Gorons told me about you, brother. Just take a look at these rocks. Amazing! Was there a landslide or something? What are you doing here anyway, brother? Are you trying to pass through here? If I drink some hot spring water, it might give me the strength to break through a big rockfall like this. Hey, brother, if you find- Okay. It's a side quest. We can't just blow it up then, I guess. That's a pretty strong rock wall. Okay. Note taken. There was also- this giant hole in the ground. It has claw shot targets. Wait. I wasn't seeing this enemy, was I? I might have actually been seeing this enemy and not actually a character. Well, I have to get close for him to come out, so it might have- I don't know what, what I saw, but... Yeah, let's, um... Well, actually... That's, uh, 
quite a large distance to let go from. <laughs> There's a chest down there. Oh. Yeah, suddenly things are making sense. And now I don't want to be here. Luckily. Well, okay, how far away from Castletown are we? Uh, yeah, it'd be quicker to warp, probably. And this is actually a good opportunity to show you the best thing about being able to turn into a wolf at any given time. And I will show you this by running into Castletown as a wolf. That's right. Midna will not allow you to transform into a wolf when there are witnesses, but that's not keeping me from going in as a wolf. Oh, yes. Fear me. Fear me. I am a powerful beast. You are lowly humans. Haha. <laughs> it's even better in the main square. Oh, look at them. They're so afraid. Haha. <laughs> it's funner when there are more people. We might have to come back here at daytime because they all just run away from you. It is hilarious. <laughs> okay. No, no, seriously. We need to get on with things and go to Telma's bar. Oh dear. Am I able to transform here? Okay. No. Still witnesses. Okay, maybe if I just hop out here. This is an exit, right? If I just exit real quick and then turn back into a human. Oh, wait. Uh, I'm not planning on getting all the postals. Or at least not enough to um, free Giovanni. But if it's right there, then I might as well, I guess. Oh well. Let's transform. Head back inside Castletown. And go to Telma's bar because she wants us there. That's really the only direction we've been given. After we got the Master Sword, we weren't really given any direction as to where we needed to go next. Well, now we have it. Our next destination is indeed Telma's bar. Oh, cats. Oh, I love the cats. I'm gonna carry you all the way. My... Okay, yeah, this is... This will take me to Telma's bar. Oh, what a good kitty. Oh. I'm gonna have to leave you behind while I visit Telma. And we could also check up on the mailman? What to order? What to order? I do believe I'll start with meat. Okay. Oh my, if it isn't Husky. That's me. You made it. How have you been, honey? Mercy, but you have good timing. I was just talking about you. Hey, hey everyone, introduce yourselves. This handsome young man is the infamous Husky. You remember what I told you before, honey. These are those friends I mentioned, the ones who are trying to help deal with all the troubles in Hyrule. Actually, there's mo one more of us, but there's been a disturbing turn of events in the western desert, so he's gone to check it out. He's an older man named Auru. If you happen to meet him, definitely take the time to talk with him, okay, honey? Well, you've come all the way here, honey, so why don't you relax a bit? Why don't you be sociable and talk to these folks? They're a jolly bunch. Okay, let's check them out. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, hello there. You must be Husky, correct? I'm Shad. Wonderful to meet you. Telmo told me you've been up. Tell me all you've been up to. You're rather formidable. I'm rather not, I'm afraid. Well, I'm formidable at book reading, but I lack, shall we say, physical skills. <laughs> Same. That said, if the history and legend of Hyrule are your cup of tea, I'm your fellow. If you're curious, just ask away. Okay, and what about you? It's a Shay. I grew up in the mountains with my father, who was a knight in his own right. 
He taught me the arts of war as though I was his son. Of course, lessons in common courtesy were not part of the regimen, so forgive me if I come off as rude, yeah? Listen, before I blab both of your ears off, I want to tell you something. Snow Peak, the mountain to the north of Hyrule, it's unlike any mountain I've ever known. I don't know much yet. Things happen there that happened on no other mountain I know of. Evil controls it. As soon as I know something more, I'll tell you. Until then, you should stay away, yeah? Okay. What does this map say? Hi. That old codger Aru is at Lake Hylia, studying the desert. Okay. So that's our flag. That's where we need to go next. Very good, very good. Alright, we have a new goal. Telma. Oh yeah, Louise! Oh, I don't know what you're telling me, I'm sorry. But, it's been nice visiting. But now I must go to Lake Hylia. <gasps> Here we are. Okay. We want to go this way, I guess. I mean, that is the point marked on our map, after all. Hey! Remember how we couldn't access that Howling Stone? Well... Now that we can turn into a human and a wolf whenever we want, we can climb the ladder as a human and then howl as a wolf. So, let's do just that. Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. Ooh, he's way out there. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> anyway, that was that. Again, I... I I think I've said this every time, but boy, I do love the Howling Stones. So cool. Um, hello, Poe. Wouldn't it be funny if I accidentally got enough Poe's to free Giovanni just by randomly encountering them? Because there's, uh, there's, there's way more than 20. And I totally failed right there. Okay, Poe, come here. Come here. Oh, ouch. Okay, this one's, this one's tough. I'll give it that. But it's not tough enough. Okay. Do you have hearts for me? Or rupees at least? A blue rupee. And yellow rupee. Not half bad. Alright. Let's become a human once again. Oh, just climb the ladder, yes. Quite a peaceful night. There's a huge flock of flying creatures over there, wow. Anyway, I thought it was about time for you to arrive. Master Husky, is it? You do know, no, you do know Telma, don't you? I am Aru. I am part of the group that Telma kindly allows to meet her at her bar. I have heard all about your deeds from her. Now, you being a courageous youth, you have likely heard of the strange events in the desert and come to investigate, no? Or am I mistaken? You do know, don't you, Master Husky? The, the, 
Ooh. Okay, there's some controversy as to whether it's Gerudo or Gerudo. I think. Gerudo sounds really natural to me, but I think that Gerudo is technically the correct way to say it, so I guess I will go with Gerudo. The Gerudo Desert once held a prison built to hold the worst criminals this land has ever known. The criminals who were sentenced to death were sent directly to, to the underworld by a cursed mirror that was kept in the prison. Now that the prison is con oh, now that prison is condemned, and even the road leading to the desert is impassable. This desert at world's end, it still holds the cursed mirror and the malice of the doomed inmates. These old bones know that evil is currently know that the evil currently plaguing Hyrule is related to this wicked place. So I have come to learn the truth. Master Husky, I must ask, what will you do now? Don't tell me you plan to enter the desert and confirm my suspicions with your own eyes. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Ah, that is so. Then let good old Auru, Auru, good old Auru help you out. You see Lake Hylia below us? A man named Fire runs an amusement park, or a, I cannot read today, an amusement ride of sorts there. Give him this. You got Aru's memo. He wrote this to Fire of Lake Hylia. Okay. See, long ago, I saved this man Fire's life, and now he cannot refuse me if I ask a favor. If you leave the rest up to Fire, all should go well. Okay. Is that marked on our map? No, but, uh... He's somewhere on Lake Hylia. We, we've seen him a couple of times. In fact, I think he's actually right down there. I'm not going to swim there. I'm actually just going to roll there. Because swimming can be slow. I guess I could put on the Zora armor, but... Then you look silly, and... What's more important, efficiency or how you look? Well, okay, probably efficiency, but... I've already rolled this far, so it's too late to turn back now. Okay. Let's go talk to this guy, Fire. Actually, I don't want to speak directly to him. I would like to show him the memo. Herm, from old Aru, huh? Ah, well, I guess I had to do what the old coot says. Oasis flight, right? So here you go, one of our secret options is not available to the general public. This time's all paid for, so what do you say? You wanna go? Yes, let's go. Alrighty then, but remember, next time you gotta pay. Sweet sailing, buddy of mine. One for Oasis. Fire in the hole. Oh boy. Wait, Husky. Before we go on, there's something I want you to hear. Do you remember what the spirit said about the fused shadows? What do you think happened to the magic wielders who tried to rule the sacred realm? They were banished. They were chased across the sacred lands of Hyrule and driven into another realm by the goddesses. It was another world entirely, the antithesis of Hyrule, where the sun shines bright. Its denizens became the shadows that could not mingle with the light. Eventually, most came to call it the Twilight Realm, and from it, none could return to the world of light. They were forever doomed to live in the twilight, flitting in the half-light of dusk, mere shadows of Hyrule.
This is the history of the twilight as it has been passed down from our ancestors. Do you now understand what I am? I'm a descendant of the tribe that was banished to the Twilight Realm. It was a peaceful place, until Xant took control of the Twilight Realm and transformed all of the Twilight into shadow beasts. It's clear to me now that he has somehow gained a great evil power previously unknown to our tribe. In any case, I was sent from there and could no longer get into the Twilight Realm without his power. But there's another tale told by my people. Though the goddesses forbade us to return to the world of light, they left one link between the light and the darkness. Something called the Mirror of Twilight was passed to the protectors of Hyrule. It's our only path to the Twilight Realm, and we must get there. You'll come with me, won't you? Wow. Very, very interesting. And actually, when we held at the Howling Stone, we uh, saw that structure in the background. I guess that was kind of a hint. Actually, we've probably been seeing hints all the time as to where the next wolf meeting place would be. Oh my goodness! New enemies! Beasts that swim in the sand. Wow. Okay, well, there's another Poe right here. I just noticed it. Again, might as well get it. Because why not? Okay, maybe we actually will free Giovanni. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Now, what's this giant digging spot? Uh, okay. Yeah, we have this entire new huge area, the Gerudo Desert. Oh, spiders! That's frightening. But yeah, we have it to explore. We shall do that. Can you- Actually, what if I did this? Oh, no. You're defending yourself, eh? Can you stop? Like, attack me or something and let your guard down? chest? I wonder what it contains. Let's go find out. Oh wait. Pots must break. Pots! Yes, give me the green rupees. They're worth so much. Oh! There are rupees under these rocks. That's why I can roll them. Oh, I keep pressing A. I mean to press B to attack and just quickly destroy the pots. Oh my. Okay, you know what? Forget it. Let's just open the chest. One hundred rupees. Not bad. There are pots up there, but you know what? I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I mean, after I got one hundred, do I really need any more? I don't know, maybe, but <laughs> it takes time, time is money, and wait. If time is money, but you spend time getting money, then how does that work? I don't, I don't know. Okay, if I can roll away from these guys, great. Okay, I am going to end it here. We made it to Gerudo Desert, learned a new sword technique, and, well actually, oh, wrong button. Now that we're here, we can make our way all the way 
up here and learn another sword technique, but that's... We're not gonna do that quite yet, because we have some distance to cover. We also learned a little bit about the Twilight Realm. This place, this is where the Twilight Mirror, or the Mirror of Twilight, I guess would be the proper title. It's where it's located. That's how we get to the Twilight Realm, and that's obviously where Midna is from. Yeah, next time we're just gonna make our way north, I guess. Because where else are we gonna go? But, until then, goodbye.